fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan and around the world uh, for years can trace its origins directly back to the American Civil War. It was the first time any army anywhere in the world, not just the United States, but anywhere in the world had truly created a system to take care of the wounded. Prior to that, the wounded were treated as what was known as debris of battle. Uh, fight the battle, battle's over, okay, whoever's left around, take care of the wounded and, you know, make them comfortable, don't, yeah. This American Civil War kind of started off that way. Battle of Bull Run, the wounded, some of the wounded were left to languish on the battlefield up to a week after the battle. Those that could walk did, all the way from Manassas to Washington, D.C., which is 30 to 35 miles away. Uh, and they didn't get good care. But this made it to the press, very important. Once the press gets a hold of it, it gets back all the way from Maine to Minnesota. Most importantly, it gets back to moms, wives, sisters, women, who were enraged by this. They put pressure to different societies on Congress and the President to take care of it. Surgeon General Hammond and Dr. Letterman sat down pretty much and created a system to evacuate the wounded during the battle. You can see, with dedicated ambulances and trained personnel to take initially take care of the wounded, get them back to a field hospital anywhere from two to ten miles behind the main lines of battle. Get the treatment taken care of, treat them, then evacuate them back to a major general hospital via steamer ships or rail cars to a general hospital around a major rail hub, seaport, or river port. And get these guys taken care of. I don't know if you guys are John Wayne fan. I'm a John Wayne fan. Sir, are you a John Wayne fan? Some, yeah. I love John Wayne, he's great. But the one bad thing that John Wayne and Hollywood did for us is they didn't treat Civil War medicine really good. Uh, soldiers didn't bite the bullet. We had both ether and chloroform to operate with. Um, very few soldiers. There was only 300 recorded surgeries done without some form of anesthesia. And of those, most of those were our, the patients were unconscious anyways. Um, um, we like to use, we had both ether and chloroform. We preferred to use ether. We thought it was safer for the patient. We also, we felt that it put the patient out better. But ether has two tiny little drawbacks. One, it evaporates very quickly and it fills the air. So if I'm operating in a confined room, it can fill the room, the fumes can fill the room, and I start to pass out on my patient. Not good form. I, would you want your doctor today passing out on you? The other drawback of ether. <coughs> I'm doing my surgery at night under open candles and open oil lamps. Blowing you and your patient up is generally considered bad form. So, the other thing is they always come out with a big saw and amputate every time. That was all we did was amputate. We actually tried to avoid that. Um, we would try to avoid amputating as much as possible. The problem with the American Civil War is what the soldiers are firing out of their weapon is this lovely little nugget right here. This is a 58 caliber mini ball. You hear the soldiers call it mini, but it was actually invented by a French artillery captain by the name of Claude Manet. It's an ounce and a half of soft lead all right, now go for it. Traveling very slow. Nice. The nice. modern U.S. Army right. rifle bullet is less than half the size and travels three times as fast, and it's solid, it's dense. The problem with this weapon is this is what it's going to do when it hits anything solid like a bone. It will take anywhere from an inch to three inches of bone out with it. They took very detailed records of every surgery they performed, especially the amputations. They have had modern combat and trauma surgeons evaluate the wounds from the period. Even with all of the modern technology we have today, 
over half the men who lost limbs during the American Civil War would have still lost them because of the damage this weapon caused. Thank you.